it is Wednesday lunchtime. We're gonna do a store number two. Filled our entire lunch here yesterday. Found those pops and some new DVDs and stuff. So yeah, see if there's anything uh, today. Love this movie. We used to watch this all the time when we were kids. My parents uh, loved Woody Allen. Movies. Not necessarily him. Um, yeah. Alright. Right. Might just be a random thing. Looks like a reseal. Huh. Some actual new stuff. I feel like we bought that. We bought that on DVD last time. We got some anime. All sealed too. I find that the anime uh, Blu-ray stuff is a lot better than the DVD stuff. I wasn't expecting more uh, media though. Grab some other stuff too. Not sure if any of this is worth it, but we'll check. More Jag, more Castle. These Criminal Minds are sealed too, huh? Not that that one isn't, but what about these ones? Those ones aren't. Must be somebody's collection. Oh, cool, the Blu ray. That could be. I don't think I've ever seen the Blu rays of the True Bloods. Yeah, someone loved these CBS shows. More. Oh, uh, all the big things. I don't think those are worth it. Maybe the Blu rays. Sealed. Workout collection. Oh, look at all these. Yeah, it's right in my face. Oh my god, they're all sealed. <laughs> no, not all of them. And it's anime day. Craziness. When it rains, it pours, I tell you. Never see these third rock anywhere. This is stuff I put back yesterday. I don't think that's worth it, but another day, another cart full of media to scan. There's probably gonna be a bunch of pops over there too. No one my luck. It's like I only get like half an hour. You know, because <laughs> I got to drive back and forth to work too. So we'll do a quick uh, roll around the store and see what's what we're taking home. I'm sure some of this is coming with us. Yeah. Got a Lego truck, seven bucks. Got some Mega Blocks too. A couple bags of that. Here's another one. Superheroes. All right, seven for that. Sprinkled with a little Lego. And more. They're all built up, so just exactly how I like it. Easy to identify. Makes you think all things are there too. God, I left my friggin' coupons in the car. This one's only six. That's Lego, isn't it? Yeah, city sets don't hold as much value as the others, but I, they're my favorite actually, just because they're more timeless, you know, not tied to a property. Um, so I'm gonna have to run out and grab 
grab a couple coupons after I scan all this stuff. So it's going to be another tight one. Checking out a couple cards kind of quick. There's some canvases and stuff, but nothing I want to worry about today. Looks like the same from yesterday, so we don't have to worry about Funkos today. I don't see anything else new, so I'm going to get to scanning. Just a quick update. I just scanned the Blu-rays. Some of these are like amazing, like 80 to 100 bucks. This one with the dirty girl on the back. And then um, there's one of those PS3 fan Final Fantasy games was like 100 bucks too. So just getting through it. Got two bags, guys. Yeah, I'm stoked, man. This is even better than yesterday. Really cool guy. Shout out to the guy. He uh, let me know that there was a 30% off Books and Media coupon that went active today. So I didn't have to come out and grab a coupon. I actually had enough rewards to do the Lego stuff too in the system. So I didn't. Got everything at a discount. 20% off the Legos. 30% off all the DVDs and stuff. It almost made me want to go back and get that CBS stuff where the margins were just close. But yeah, it's still low dollar sales. So... Maybe tonight we'll change our mind if we're still there, but yeah, awesome. We're gonna do really good here. Well, we just ran up to store number one. This is gonna be like a very, very quick stop. We're gonna be in and out in like five minutes, so there better not be anything that I need to research. So, uh, no brainers. Hey Carla. How are you? How you doing, I'm doing alright. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Got some uh, seasons. I know the Stark Angel's good. Congratulations to a lot of people this morning. Have they? So, yeah, because what happens is. Uh, they, they wipe it out on the sale day and they're over uh, loaded with people. Oh, and right. Had a chance to get everything out. And there's still deals, but you just don't get 30% off. So there's money to be made. And, and people there's are actually a uh, coupon right now for uh, media. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't do the internet. So uh, okay. You, you don't get the emails? What do you do? I don't, I don't like that. It's just, yeah, it's the. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, my phone listens in on me every day. Trust me, I know. Well, what, what's going to happen one of these days, something will slip and they'll download all your, your uh, financial assets. Yeah. And you'll have to go after them. And it's, sometimes it's hard to do when they're in a foreign country. That is scary. Well, they're all doing it. I know a woman the Social Security office. Killing it on the media today. And got another 30% off, too. Loving this. Got the Flashpoint, looks like the full series, and then four seasons of Orange is the New Black, so, and then the Dark Angel, which is like a $20, I think, DVD pre-owned. I've sold it for like $50 new. Um, but yeah, I love just swooping on in and making money. <laughs> in and out, we're probably there six, seven minutes. So we're gonna head back to work and uh, yeah, finish out the day. Okay, we're out of work. It is Wednesday night, and we rolled back down to our honey hole, uh, store number two. It's been good to us last couple days. Um, I'm really not expecting any more media, but I think I said that before. So, let's see what they got tonight. I actually do see some stuff I didn't see before. They did put some more stuff out. I don't know if there'll be anything worth grabbing, but... Star Wars stuff too. Oops. Check those. I've got one more use of that coupon, so I've got to be careful about uh, when to use that. I already checked this one, but I'm going to look again because it's sealed. Probably put it back, but. Any more games? Looks like the same stuff from earlier. Yeah, somebody grabbed that uh, Final Fantasy one. 
the one I passed on. Here's another winner. This one always does a good. Oh, it's sealed. Oh, they put tape on it. Yeah. This isn't like amazing in pre-owned condition. I think it's like 30 bucks or something, but new. I sold it for like 70 or 80. There's another bigger set too that I've never found. It's one that um, Flipping Jonka clued me into. Yeah, purple face Barbie. That's going to be some kind of uh, animated uh, thing or something or other. Uh, we'll do a scan on her. Fairytopia. That's what I'm thinking of. You got a bunch of these, whatever they are. iPhone battery cases. Huh? Zone though. What model iPhone though? That's the key. iPhone 10 or 10S. D23 pen set. It's a. Uh, it's like a Disneyland thing. Disney fan club. Google image showed it at 50. I don't know anything about Disney pens. I think for $4.49, though, that's a really good deal. Just looking up this nude American Girl doll. That's funny. I just saw Justin Resell sell one today, but I can't remember what he sold it for. Looks like they're all in the $20 to $50 range. I don't know anything about them. It's, they want $10 bucks for it, too, so I'm probably going to leave it. But, yeah. That's the one thing. And then I found this book too. I didn't show me pick that up, but this was sitting over there in the puzzle section, so we'll look at those up and probably get on out of here. That's right, this is Fairy Topia, Sparkle Fairy Barbie. Probably a good one worth picking up at six fifty, but still let's see what they go for. Fairy Topia. Sparkle Fairy Barbie. Oh yeah, good price is fifty-five brand new. Yeah, this one's got a loose one for 20 so it's a little bit low. So probably, eh, yeah, maybe we done it. It's hard to tell. It is in decent shape. Not perfect. We'll have to decide. Being disciplined, uh, the DVDs weren't worth it. The book, there's a few listed. Uh, they want 8 bucks for the book, so that's going back. American Girl's going to go back. Barbie's going to go back, even though it's one I would normally get. Uh, well, it looks like it's only selling for like 20 bucks and they want seven so so we'll probably just get the angry birds and that d23 pen set because unless i find something else on the way back putting the stuff back which sometimes does happen oh i didn't notice this i got like a fake uh walkman mimicking the star lord thing i don't know what that's all about i wonder if it plays the soundtrack <laughs> what did I tell you? Yeah, this actually is a thing. I think this is like a little MP3 player for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Looks like it's like 40 bucks on eBay. So we'll get that for 8 bucks just for the novelty. Now we're actually looking it up. Uh, there's quite a man. There's like, like let me listed 10 listed. Cheapest one is $17, so maybe it isn't a good one. See, this is why you gotta always do your comps. New, they want sells for 45 someone sold a used one for 20 25 12 yeah we gotta have to leave it unfortunately a lot of sold though 13 sold 10 listed but yeah i'm not gonna be able to get enough for it to make it worth it something cool though i didn't even know existed i went through these and what was this other set i looked at i just put it back oh this one a bunch of these like model airplane uh, dvds some of these collection obviously but doesn't look like it's worth picking them up. And then this, I think that's at the Tractor Tavern. It says Live at the Tractor. Yeah, see it in Washington. Never heard of the artist though. And it looked like it was like 17 bucks on Amazon. Word of the day was discipline. A few things I could have grabbed, but it didn't make a lot of sense. It's gonna rain here, so I'm gonna hood up here. But uh, we got the D23 and the Angry Birds. So we'll see up at store one. The rain has been so weird today. I was like, downpouring on the way up here and now there's no rain again just like earlier uh i guess they wanted me to film my outros outside <laughs> yep we found a little bit of media here earlier to continue the media trend i'd like to see some uh, toys a couple things we got some sign language dvds for kids and some pops to check out squeeze by you thanks 
case itself. Just saw some Donkey Kong bongos back there too. Might do a look up, see what those are going for nowadays. Been a long time since I've seen those. Those go backs are new stuff. Looks like it could be new. It'll pop here. just did too, 128 bucks. I must have looked it up or something. The server? We'll look up QNAP, I'm unfamiliar. That's a hefty price at a thrift store though. Network attached storage, yeah. All right, so there's one for 100. Some different ones. Looks like there's a bunch of different models just kind of thrown in here. Definitely not worth 128. Yeah, 100, 140. This one's 355 though, so why is one different? Maybe because they have the, ter the hard drives in them? I'll have to do a little closer looking, because some of these are like 400 bucks. It says Pro too. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah, maybe it is if the hard drive's are already in there. Feels heavy. I don't know. Got a power cable for it. I don't think we're going to be able to tell if there's anything in here though. And DVDs might be good. They only want two bucks for them. We got a handful here. We'll have to count how many, but looks like there's quite a few. You could definitely uh, make a little on them. Yeah, somebody sold 12 for 200 bucks. That might be new. Yeah, those were new. So, yeah, no, they're good. Lots of sales. Booting for like five minutes now. Hopefully, it's not in some kind of loop or something. I don't think I'm going to get it anyway just because I don't have the key to open those. And it's kind of sad though because it's actually probably a really good flip, but not if it doesn't work. It's in some kind of boot loop, so I'm just going to leave it behind. Move on with my evening. But we're going to get these for sure. I'm going to go see if there's any more that I might have missed. Yeah, I guess it's fitting on a day of great media buys to walk out with some more media. This is the signing time TV show. Yeah, looks like it'll be a good one. Good lot up, lot these puppies up. And I didn't use my last 30% uh, discount, but I did go ahead and use a reward on it. So it knocked it down a little bit more even. So I paid about a buck 60 a DVD. So anyway, we got a bunch of orders to pick. It was a great sales day, so we'll show you that here in a bit. Let's look at what's going out tonight. It was a great one. Uh, first thing is an album that, it's, that is at home. It is the Iron Maiden number, the Beast LP. This is one that uh, my buddy Matt donated to me, so thank you so much, Matt. This is probably one of the best ones besides the... Uh, seal of Alice in Chains LPs that I'm selling for him. He kind of gave these to me as a bonus for selling his. I have his Alice in Chains up, stuff up way too high. Um, I will eventually lower that so I can get you some money, Matt. But anyway, the Iron Maiden LP sold for $38 last night, so awesome sale there. Next up, took a best offer for that Sonos uh, Zone player that we bought. Uh, we got it like uh, about a month ago, but I think we just listed it a couple weeks ago or so. Uh, had it up for 75 made an offer for 60 or I'm sorry, yeah, 60 initially. I counted back at 70 and he countered at 65 and I'm good with 65 He's a local buyer too, so the shipping won't be too bad for that. And it looked like he had some Sonos items up on his store, so he'll know how to fix it if there's any issue. Here's our best sale of the day. Uh, there's another good one. This one's even better. This is one of the original Mythic Legion Series 1.5 figures, Pixis. This is uh, based on, uh, the name's based on Pixel Dan, I believe, uh, that the Four Horsemen gave him. Super rare figure. That series has some of the rarest figures. This at one was actually reprinted one time in All-Stars 2, but the market on those is all dried up, too. There's only, like mine and one other of these listed right now had it up for 386 and you know it's been up for a couple years now probably a year and a half and a buyer made an offer today for 330 dollars and i was initially like okay well i could counter but i don't want to miss the offer obviously because you know that's an amazing offer and the price on these has gone down 
I mean, for some of these, I were selling for, you know, 600 bucks a couple years ago, but the market settled a little bit on them. So this one was reprinted. I went to Terapeak and researched, and it, I think the highest it, it had ever sold was like 340 So I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll take 330 So 330 bucks for an action figure, people. That's this Dreams do come true sometimes on these things. It's pretty crazy. Okay, next one is At Home, and this is another awesome one. This is that Hot Toys Aquaman that we just listed, I think, on Saturday. This is the one that my friend and I were uh, looking at and couldn't determine if it was legit, authentic, or a bootleg. So she didn't want to buy it and take the chance. She let me buy it. I went home, did some research, realized what we thought was kind of the weird thing is the box was different. It was just the inner box. Um, there was an outer box that this one didn't have. So it is authentic. I listed it for two twenty five. dollars Someone made me an offer today for $200 and I accepted. So over $500 in action figures today, which is amazing. Uh, paid like 16 bucks for that Hot Toys Aquaman. So thank you so much. I'm taking my friend out to lunch for sure. You know, I can't wait to talk to her about it. I don't, I, you know, want to thank her, not rub it in or anything. Uh, last item that sold is this Razer gaming headset uh, that I've had since 2017. It was up for $20 for years. One of the sides doesn't work, one of the channels, so it's sold as is for parts. Buyer made an offer for $5, and I like legitimately was like, oh, okay, I can maybe at least get a little money back. But then I was like, well, you know, I'll, I'll make a little on the shipping too, but I countered back at 10 actually, just because, you know, that's still half off. And they countered at seven and I went ahead and accepted because I'll make probably four or five bucks on the shipping for the two pound rate on this one. So yeah, so lowest sale of the day, so nothing good. Uh, this actually isn't the last sale. I don't know why I said that. We just sold this Transformers Generations Voyager Armada Universe Starscream. This is one we found a month or two ago for 25 bucks plus shipping. And that'll do it. I'm glad to see March is ending strong. I want to end this month good. I still haven't hit my $10,000 uh, goal yet on uh, any month this year. I'm still a couple grand shy of that. So <clears throat> I don't know if I'll hit it. I've got, what, four days left, four or five days. So don't know uh, if we'll hit it, but at least we'll get, hopefully get close. And, you know, yeah, no, it's just good to see good sales again so anyway gonna go home pack it up and we'll see you guys tomorrow